What's up, guys? Once again, I'm partnered up with the DraftKings Sportsbook to give all new customers a great opportunity. UFC 290 is coming up this weekend, and it is a fantastic fight card. Headline by Alexander Volkanovsky versus Yair Rodriguez. We also got another title fight when Brandon Moreno defends his flyweight championship of the world. Guys, you know that at the DraftKings Sportsbook, we're always looking to hook up our new customers. So all you got to do is bet $5, and we will give you $150 in bonus bets instantly. Does not matter how you think the fight is going to happen. Bet $5 or more and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. And guys, you can always stand on the action by using the DraftKings same fight parlays. Use those 150 in bonus bets and parlay something like who's going to win the fight, how they're going to win the fight, or how the fight ends. Combine all those bets for a chance to win even bigger. Same fight parlays is one of the best features at the DraftKings Sportsbook. And same fight parlays are only available at DraftKings. And if sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. We got you here. You can still get on the action with the DraftKings Daily Fantasy for an opportunity to win prizes. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use my promo code Cormier. Bet $5 or more and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Guys, we ain't got all day. We got this right now. It's time to get it. Download it. Bet five or more and get 150 in bonus bets by using my promo code Cormier at the DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the UFC. It's fucked oh, up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you love Okanowski so much. I'm like, man, let me tell you something, man. I'm like, man, fuck Volkanovski. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they make it seem like I like you so much. And I'm like, man, forget this dude, man. Even though I really like you. <laughs> it's like crazy. Champ, how, are you? how you feeling? I'm good. I'm really, Thanks really Thanks for good. checking in with me again, man. No worries Every at all. time you fight, I got to get that check in. I got a cousin named Boo. He's a big guy. He was here last summer. And he took a picture. And we're in a group message. And we talk about you. And we talk about all your fights, and one of my cousins goes, Yair is the, the one, he can fight Volkanovski. And my cousin last year, you took a picture with him, you made an impact on him. He goes, ain't nobody beating Volk. Nobody beating Volk. So that's the dude that has a schoolyard crush on me. Oh, okay. It's not me. That dude's in love with you, dog. So, I mean, what his, his name, what was his his name, name is Boo. He's Boo. a big old dude. He came in last year. You're the man, Boo. Yeah, he came last year, and he, uh, he took a photo with him in here. Uh, so, legend. champ, let's see, we got this shirt. Have a look. I mean, look at that. That's it. <sighs> okay. All right. So. Receipts. 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 Yeah. You're a guy that has done everything. But you got a teammate that's kind of petty. Is he? Is okay. he? He's a petty human being, right? With being petty, well, he's he's like, he I even said it himself. Because I, I can yeah, be, I I can can be, be a petty. bit petty. He owns it, though. So but, right. but it seems like it runs in the family because <laughs> this would qualify as petty. Yeah, I, I, will, maybe. I will read you some of these. Yeah, go for it. There's no wrestler in Australia. That was Islam. You said that I laughed like a schoolyard girl when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you said I laughed like a schoolyard girl when I said that. It's not a chance he beats Aldo in Brazil. Volk lost that fight. We know we know we are gonna finish this guy. This was Habib. Mm -hmm. Volkanovski is too nice. He beat Holloway by luck. He'll never beat him again. Where is this short guy? Ortega's a different animal. Volkanovski's not ready for. I kicked this Volkanovski. Let's see who said that. Was that a corner one? Yeah. Off like it was a his head off like it was a rugby ball. Every one of these quotes you now have on the shirt. Why are you keeping receipts? Well, mate, it's just, uh, yeah, again, I'm in a position where not too much is uh, being said now, but I'm like, hey, use, uh, just, just, just remember what people were saying. You know, these are, uh, 
there was a time where, yeah, there was a, again, I am the, the underdog, right? I've always been the underdog. I've always been undersized. And people have been saying that my whole life, and I've always overcome them. Yes, I've yeah. always, uh, you know, I've always uh, rose to the occasion. And, uh, you know, where I'm at, it's just like, hey, just remember, I am that underdog. All these things were said to me, but look, look where we're at now. So it's like a good, good little message there. So when, when Islam said there's no wrestling in Australia, and you end the fight on top of him, off of a takedown, like, what's that say? Right? Like, what's that say? Because... That says there's wrestling in Australia, maybe, <laughs> Yeah, right. Because right? like, that, that, that was a very competitive fight. Mm -hmm. And people... It was a very competitive fight, and I, I scored the fight for Makachev. Mm -hmm. Not because he's my teammate, just mm -hmm. because I thought the wrestling early. And as you, you spoke... Because you're hey, yeah, as you spoke, But, champ, as you spoke to earlier, you said that there were moments that you might have made a few mistakes talking, yeah. yep. accepting being on the bottom. But you end that fight on top in dominant position, mm -hmm. winning impressively, and that's the lasting memory for most. Mm -hmm. And then you immediately go, I want a rematch. And I'm like, hey, hey, hold on. Let's not do this, right? Let's take our time. Go back to your weight class. How good does it feel, though, right, to keep these receipts and always prove people wrong? Because even in that fight, you didn't get the decision, nothing changed. Mm -hmm. You were still ranked number one pound for pound. Mm -hmm. You guys were tied. Like, you lost nothing I mean, in that I still, fight. I still, I guess, you know, I always talk about, yeah, proving people wrong, and I think, I think I still did. You did. A lot of people didn't think I still had a chance. They thought as soon as he grabs a hold of me, that's over. You know what I mean? So I answered uh, a lot of the questions. You know, I said uh, how, how I thought it could go, and... I was right. I just didn't get, obviously get my hand raised, but it was, yeah, obviously a very competitive fight, and I, I knew it was going to be. And uh, again, people are. It's funny because people are sitting there saying, "Oh, I found a you know a chink in his arm," or you know he's a. Uh, yeah, Alex has found his. Uh, you've got the blueprint, or found uh, his weakness, and all that. I was like, no, no, no. Not it's everybody not. can do that. Though. Exactly right. As so that's the thing. People are like, "Oh, no, you found a blueprint. Found a blueprint. Try and really." Think of all the little things that, that happen and then try and get yourself prepared for that. Like, you know I mean, it's, a, How you it's so much more than just technique. Yeah, it's a technique and understanding the game. And then there's grit. There's uh, obviously the scrambles. Um, you, know, you don't get you tired. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Then there's all the, all the stuff that make me a difficult fight for anyone in yeah. the world. And no matter... Like how big they are and how strong they are. Like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm always find a way and I'm always going to make it difficult. You know what else would help you? That ass. Because in that fight, you were a little thicky, dog. Like, I was like, <laughs> that ass helped you get up all the time. Dog, you look big. I was like, what? I was like, this don't look like the same guy. How much weight and muscle did you put on for that fight? Man, because you look not, short, but you look fucking thick in there. I mean, uh, to be honest, I didn't actually probably end up that much heavier than I will uh, this weekend. Like, you know, you I look big, though. Yeah, uh, the, the ass. I'm telling that you. That ass was fat in that, that fight, it man. It was that ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, because it was even funny. I was even in the shower, um, and the missus there, and she like, she see me, and she's like, "Oh man, you, you got your butt back from back in the footy ball." Yeah, days. yeah, yeah. So back when I was playing football, I used to be a lot, lot bigger, and I always had a big ass, and I sort of lost that in the featherweight. But I had, I got my ass back. And you were uh, defending takedowns and everything. Yeah, it would have been obviously, you know, the the strength and uh, conditioning programs, and then obviously eating more. But to be honest, weight wise, like even the muscle and that, actually, to get back down to 45? featherweight, it was a, it wasn't much. It was a, I ended up the same at the start of camp as how, I usually do. How much do you think you'll, and I don't know if you want to share this, but like in the octagon on Saturday, like how much do you put in? Because you're a guy, you don't look all drawn out like so many look, right? Mm -hmm. You look obviously when you go on to the scale, but it seems like it's a very short period of time that you're drawn out and then you seem pretty full. Mm -hmm. But if to, to do that, you, you must not be as big. Because mm -hmm. if you're 165 right now, 160, 165, you're going to look sucked down and you're going to balloon up. Mm -hmm. You seem to carry the weight pretty good, no matter what the weight class you fight in. Yeah, well, that's, uh, man, look, I think it's that, that body type as well. So I can uh, hold a lot of water, right? So mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, stocky, stocky build. So it's uh, easy to, you know, easy to get that out and then easy to put back in. Put it in. back in. But uh, again, I actually can go, I can get much heavier. I can get as heavy as I did for the lightweight fight if I wanted to. Really? But I'm, I've even told my... Um, dietitian and as I don't want to I want to like you know stay at a certain weight where I feel best okay. um, where I'm moving sharp because I'm going to be just as strong anyway I want to move fast I want to be sharp I want my timing on uh, so that's uh, more important to me so yeah so I did this thing right as we get to your fight this weekend against Jair it's always fun to talk to you because you can go on about so many other things to show you to talk to you. and so I did this breakdown and I said, this is how you take on the great because you do something that not many of us do so I was a shorter fighter I always felt I had to press.
because I had to close the distance. You've mastered counter striking even as the shorter guy. So when you're fighting Max Holloway in the third fight, let's take a look at this champ. Look, so here's Volkanovski. Right. Volkanovski starts to point your point at the jab, the knowing. Because what he's trying to do is look, he's trying to draw out just Max Holloway's right hand. Max is so good with that overhand right, right? Oh yeah. Jab, so look, pause. 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 He slaps. Let the, the jab go. Trapped. Right, right. Look at the angle there, too. It's beautiful, right? The it's, angle. It wasn't just the spice, it was that Watch the short too. right hand, though, champ. You're not throwing the right hand to land. Mm -hmm. Boom, yeah. Right hand, short. Yes. Distance management. He did well again. Like again, he's still good. He, got, he did well to get his head out of the way still. But there's always a follow-up. Champ, what do you think there? That's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's pretty good, that's champ. Good. Yeah, it's a good angle there too. There was a distance. It was angle and uh, very hard. He slipped off. He slipped off. I don't want to give too much away, right? No, no. But dude, it's it's all that in the one, video. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I put it. I, I saw it all. Look, I put it all in the, the video. The angle that I got. Notice how he could not follow up with anything. It was crazy because when you hurt, what you did that one, right? You went fade right, left. Mm -hmm. The next time he did, did the same thing. You drew out his counter, but this time you dipped. Overhand, and that's what's cut him real bad, right? So you're setting all these traps. It's your mind in there mm -hmm. that people don't really. Uh, exactly. They're not. They're not picking up on that. You're not just fighting. You're not a guy with just great cardio. Your mentality in there, bro, is mm -hmm. next level. Because I can see you setting these traps. Like, when did you develop that? I don't know. I think it's always been there. Like even uh, when I first started, I had uh, Joe always says it. My, my coach Joe always says that. I always understood the uh, distance, even the first time I was in the gym. So there's something there that just, I just know, like that instinct's always there. So having mm -hmm. them natural instinct and then preparing properly and then training properly has all uh, obviously made me, you know, whether it's genetics or whatever it is, I don't mm -hmm. know, like, but it's all made me the fighter I am today. Champ, when you look at Yair Rodriguez, right, he's a long rangy guy, throws a lot of body kicks. Mm -hmm. There's a section of people that say, if you want to find why Yair can have success, go watch the fight with Ortega in the first and second round where he had success in the striking with Volkanovski. What do you say to that? Do you build off of that? Do you take from that fight to apply it to Yair? Or is it completely different? Um, are you talking about his fight with... Uh, you and Ortega. And uh, people there are, are people going, about... Yes, people are going, Ortega had a lot of success in the yeah, first round and the second I'm, round. Yeah, he's a southpaw. These are all the reasons he's going to give Volk trouble. And I think at times people try to build into okay. something because you're so dominant. Well, I'm building that too, right? I, li I like that. I like that. That's, uh, that's good because, but I mean, we all know that I've uh, improved so much every mm -hmm. fight. But that's uh, been the ongoing conversation every time I step in there. It's like, how does he keep getting better? Like, you know what I mean? So for people to say that, just remember, I got better. I'm always like that. I, I don't know why I still get surprised when I watch you fight. Mm. I, I actually said that if you beat Islam, it was the biggest upset in UFC history. Which, after watching the fight and being as close and competitive as it is, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I might well, get paid to do this, but like I guess I'm an idiot. But that, yeah. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that. Like, I think it's uh, again, it's not only was I moving up, I was moving up uh, probably uh, as what people thought the worst. I mean, what are you doing, Chris? <laughs> You can't even keep that now because I'm now either. Your answer was, oh, oh he yeah. makes it worse. Hey. He fucking makes it worse. <laughs> Costello, you make it worse. <laughs> Where were we? We just said, I mean, his answer was it's that gone. good that you fucking it's put gone. it. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. Gone. I don't you even know where that, I was going with it. You just said you, you went up. Yeah, exactly. You know, you Obviously, and then not so only, not only uh, I went up in weight, which is going to be a tough challenge no matter who it is. Then it's a... Uh, you know, why is, why is moving up a challenge? Because the guy's bigger. The yes. Guys, you know what I mean? You're good at power. Then all of a sudden, I'm not only facing someone bigger, I'm facing the worst possible matchup in that sense where this guy's going to be the sh not only bigger, the one of wrestling. the biggest, one of the strongest who's a grappler. And it's just like, that's how a lot of people are looking at it. So I'm like, oh yeah, that's fair. But they're used to seeing other people in them positions. Not me. Not me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so this weekend, you fight Yair back at 145. He looked like an absolute world beater against Josh Emmett, mm -hmm. right? And Josh Emmett does have the same type of body style. But what Yair did to control him was kicking. Mm -hmm. How do you counter that? How do you get in range? Because if you're the guy that has mastered countering as the shorter guy, you can't stay at range. Mm -hmm. Because if you stay at range, 
you're in his kicking range. Do you have to kind of change the approach a little bit? I don't want you to oh, give away your whole game no, plan. I mean, like, it's going to be obvious. So then, and it's pretty easy to sort of say, like, a, a, nothing, no disrespect to Josh Ember, but, you know, I'm not going to just stand right in front of him and just come forward. Yeah. There's going to be a, a way clever approach in, in how, even if I want to pressure, uh, you know, with, with what I do, there's going to be obviously a, a system we've got going and, like, a, things that we're going to do to make it very difficult. You're not just going to see me stand in front. Yeah. Um, yeah, again, it's a, it's, it's a very, very bad idea to just stand in front of Yair Rodriguez. Yeah, he's dangerous. And uh, that's exactly what he did. I, you know, I, I get why he maybe did it, because he probably seen uh, Frankie Edgar, or Frankie Edgar just come forward. Or, uh, you know, he is a total different beast to them. Yeah. He can fight in range, long range, he'll get you in between. And uh, he showed that, uh, that that Frankie Edgar approach isn't going to work. The mind. Mm -hmm. I watch your YouTube breakdowns. All right, your yeah. YouTube's a good. Hey, oh, make sure you guys it. go and watch my guy's Shut YouTube. Up. He does a I great job. It. See, not only the not only so we, the always, we always come from like, oh, yeah, hey. taking the video. You got my back. I'm not only the cooking videos, but his breakdowns, his reaction videos are top notch. My boy uh, Alexander Volkanovsky. Yeah. Before I let you go, champ. <sighs> I mean, it's just so disappointing. Well, this well. whole Denver Nuggets thing. Oh, okay. Oh. I was like, where's he oh, going with this side? Where's he oh, going? Like a big sigh. Like, <sighs> you all of a sudden now, <laughs> you are now all of a sudden. It was my gimmick, but now your gimmick is to be a bandwagon jumper. I mean, all of a sudden, you're... Ah, Jamal Murray's my best friend. Nikola Jokic and all I've seen this. you getting your bro. phone out for videos and all that. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. bro, Give but listen. Minute. Give me all this, like, Volk... Now you're a Nuggets fan because they won the NBA title. Uh, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. You're the right, champion good, good, of the world. Good, good, good. Where, hey, where go? where I'm go? an old ex-champion, so I need to like winners because I'm not winning anymore. You're still winning. You don't have to bandwagon jumble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm why a, is this wide so far down? How much are you posting? Mate, I didn't even I went way too far. Shit, where am I? He's yeah, trying, that's how long ago I was no, no, a fan. That's He's why. trying to make it go down to make it seem as though he liked no, no, him for I'm a the long dance, time. No, no, I've got the dance, man. I've got the dance. This guy right here oh, likes shit. the Nuggets come now? Come on, come on, come on, come on. What is this? Was you're he, from he, Australia. We could cut a bit of this till I find You're from right? Australia, and now you're a Denver Nuggets fan. So when did the season start? The season starts in November. Okay. The season starts so you're in saying, November. October, so you're saying November. the season... Started after August. Oh, oh, look, so he's got a video. Oh, wait, so he's got a wait, video. Wait, wait, wait. He's well, got a video. Oh, one? your manager's wait, got a video. Wait, 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 where's that? Where's that? Go, go look at the date. <laughs> yeah. Or is that the latest one? I'll go back. Go back one. Wait. Wait a second. So you're playing basketball with the Nuggets? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did you make a shot? My halfway through there for Izzy's fight with Pereira, the first one at UFC in New yeah. York, I was at Boston's game with, with uh, Jamal Murray and Aaron Gordon. They, we went on the private jet. Back to New York and watch the UFC together. What? Wait, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's legit. Damn, it's nice to be the champ. Hey. You're this guy. It wasn't my private jet. <laughs> this is not a private I, jet. I, I wish. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Here we see. go. He's Let even wearing freestyle fighting gym. Oh. Wait, wait, what's that? August 2022. Well, hell, it's not even a year yet, Volkanovsky. So, like, you can't sit there and claim I'm a massive That was, nugget. That was nugget. before the NBA champions. What are you trying to say? Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, I guess maybe... So, okay, so I'm going to tell everyone the story we'd like to finish uh, on that. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason how I got my team. Obviously, <laughs> I want connections. Even back home, I live in Wollongong, so most of them are there. But uh, say with the Dragons, I do, did a bit of wrestling with them. All right, it's the connection. I do strength and conditioning with the Hawks, the basketball players, the Wollongong, the local ones. All right, got a connection. Um, Raiders, after the Ortega fight, they end up having us in the infield, like uh, the goal line. Yeah. And we had a, like, it was after the fight, Dick. Drinking and yeah, yeah, fun. got the treatment, right? That and is I'm the like, most. That's it. That's Have you seen every hat I wear? Yeah. The, the Raiders. What are you gonna do next time they win the they win the they win the they win the Super Bowl and you're gonna say I'm a well. Oh, here's man. the problem. You ain't gotta worry about that. <laughs> they ain't winning the Super Bowl. They are not <laughs> winning the Super Bowl, dog. They're not winning the Super Bowl. But then the LA Kings. Yeah, when the LA Kings they gave me the treatment. Boom, ice hockey. I'm an LA Kings guy. Yeah, I even got, you know, talk to some of the guys, that's me. And then I did the, Jamal come in, because he's a massive fan, coming uh, to the gym. And that's it, I'm hooked, that's it, I'm a Denver guy. This guy right here is, he's a loyalist, ladies yep. and gentlemen. So the next team the UFC sends him to, that's his team. Because <laughs> that's essentially how he's picking his teams at so this point. So if you're, you know, if you're any <laughs> franchise, give me the treatment, I got you back. He got you back. Guys, this guy right here, one of the best pom pom fighters in the world, Alexander Volkanovsky. Defends his championship for the seventh, eighth time. 
How many nah, times have you? I think it's been? gonna be five. It's gonna Six? be my sixth title. Yeah, fight. sixth title fight, fifth title defense against Yair Rodriguez this Saturday, live from the T-Mobile Arena, UFC 290. Hit the buy button. Also, follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. YouTube dude's dropping dimes. Champ, thanks for checking in with I me again as always, it, man. man. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Volkanovsky. Until Thank next you. time, peace.